This video is showing Nova Pro HD, the professional controller and video processor. This is the front interface of Nova Pro HD. We designed three parts. The first part is the shift buttons for switching video sources. The second part is a guide user interface with a LCD screen and a knob. The third part is the shortcut buttons for display control and PIP functions. In the back view, it has four parts. The first part is control interface. We have two ways of controlling. One way is by connecting this network control port to computer or Wi-Fi router so that we can use iPad, smartphone, or computer to control the Nova Pro HD. The other way is by connecting the USB control port. And this is DMX control port. We can connect it to DMX controller. The second part is the audio and video inputs. We have audio input VP, HDMI, VGA, DVI, AV input, SDI input and loop, and JMOC input and loop. Please note that loop means a signal directly goes out from controller to another device without processing. The third part is the output interface. These four outputs is for sending the video signals to LED display. And this is fiber optical outputs. If the distance between Nova Pro HD and screen is more than 100 meters, we need to use this fiber to send signals. And this is monitor interface. We can connect a screen by DVI or HDMI so that we can monitor the current video signal. And this is DVI loop. We can use it if need cascading to another Nova Pro HD. The fourth part is power supply. We designed the double power supplies for backup. If one power failed, the other will work automatically. And we designed the power lock. The power cable cannot be pulled up unless we press the unlock button on the power cable. These designs can help Nova Pro to be safer and more stable.